Hey guys, welcome to Almost Inevitable, and this is another Divi tutorial. This time we're going to learn how to make a text gradient background. So it looks like this, you can see the gradient right here, and you can see some animation. We're even going to add some gradient animation. It's possible. Uh, and as you can see, this is selectable, so it's text, it's actual text. It's not a, a GIF. Some people say GIF, some people say GIF, I say GIF. It's not, doesn't matter. Anyways, um, so yeah, it's, 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 um, it's not a JPEG, a PNG, or a GIF. It's, a, it's actual text. So it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, the only thing that you need to remember is that it doesn't work on Internet Explorer because nothing works on Internet Explorer. And uh, the prop, well, it does work on mobile, which is another uh, plus. So, you know, it's pretty cool if you see that on mobile. So, yeah. All right, now, uh, on this page, on the page that's linked in the comments below, and if you're on the page itself, it's, it's on the page. So uh, on the page, you'll see this piece of CX CSS. Now, we don't have the colors yet, and um, we're going to add the colors. Now, this is made to work in Divi because, as you can see, we're going to add this in the uh, Advanced tab, and we're going to add this. Well, we have that here because it needs to go through the Divi module, and then we're going to um, make them header heading ones. All right, he heading ones. Yeah, so we're going to make them H ones, and then it will target uh, the text that's H one, and it will give it a gradient background. So this link is also provided in the page. Uh, it's where you make uh, CSS gradients. Of course, we can you can take any of the preset gradients. Um, we'll try something. We'll just try something with two colors just to make it simple. Something like that. That's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, we'll just use that. Now, you copy that. Paste that right here. Like that. And, of course, yes, it is. it, it looks overwhelming. Uh, I'll just, well, we can just leave this. But I'll just delete these guys just so it, um, you know, because it's, it looks... It's, just too much stuff here. Um, you know, you can just leave them. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and there we go. We get, we have a gradient background, and this part is what makes it makes the text uh, see through. All right, it clips the text, and then it makes it transparent. So we're gonna do that. Uh, let's go to let's go make an animator animate animated gradient. Um, go to gradientanimator.com. It's also in the link in the page. I'll click on Opera, so we'll just, you know, cater to the people, like the dozens of people who use Opera. We'll give it a new animation name, like, um, uh, orangey, orange animation. Uh, it doesn't matter, because is this animation and that animation, the, the name has to uh, coincide, so it's fine, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll make, maybe give it, like, I don't know short time interval, like seven seconds, just so we can see it move easily. We'll add a color. Uh, what was this color? Let's see, that is a very bright color. Uh, we'll add that there. And we'll add uh, the other color, which is over here. So that is that. Um, it's not, it's really, you can just pick whatever color you want. It'll look like this. Woohoo! Yeah. You can add more colors if you want. You can have like four or five colors and you can just animate them like that. Now we're going to take this whole thing. Uh, we're going to split it into pieces though because this keyframe, this goes outside the bracket, curly brackets here. So we're going to add the animation keyframes here. And up here, we're going to copy that. Yep, and that goes inside here. All right, there we go. And we take all of this, copy that, put it into the Divi custom CSS right here. Save that, and now we are ready to make... Oh, wait, we should actually make the... Uh, what is it? We should actually make the, the classes uh, work better uh, orange or oh, orange uh, orange gradient there we go 
orange gradient um, orange gradient animated that's a long long class title um, just, yeah save that new all right well we just I just saved this one and not the old one because you know makes more sense orange gradient so let's try something now um, a little uh, design tip I guess if you want to add a gradient uh, it's better to uh, it's better to use um, I don't know a thick thick text for um, animation because it looks better it's, it's easier to see basically right so I would suggest using a thick text bold test text like um, like something in black or uh, I'll show you mm, some so f for me I would like Playfair is really pretty I think uh, like in black and if you have a gradient behind this it'll look really nice and of course their ampersands look awesome so that's why I'm gonna use that for uh, the gradient. Uh, well, I'll, I'll use it for animated. I'll, I'll explain it in a second. Uh, and if you use like, um, if you want to use a light text, like let's go with Montserrat and really light like that, it looks great. But animated, it you can't see it move, so you need to use a regular gradient. All right, so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so this. We're gonna. I'm gonna use in. Um, uh, so that's heading. So that's H1. Here we go. And we'll use Montserrat for this. Uh, all caps and light. Light is enough. All right. And then in, a, in the advanced tab, we'll add orange gradient. Put it in the class. All right. Like I said, here that. If you leave it in the advanced tab, then it's gonna it's gonna take effect because we made it filter down through the module and into the H1. All right, so we'll just copy that, make a new one, and here this time we're gonna use orange gradient animated. Oops, animated, and yeah, and let's try a thick font for this. So we'll use a Playfair display, and we'll use heavy doesn't have to be all caps let's try that yep so let's update and let's give it a give it a whirl all right let's see how that works it's gonna have to kick in oh there we go oh it's too small we can't see it but yeah you can see the yeah you can see the animation here yep and you can see the gradient here, and it's all actual text. I should have gone with a stronger color so it's easier to see. Oh, oh well. Anyways, it works, right? So uh, give that a try. Uh, like I said, it doesn't work on Internet Explorer. You'll have to use an Internet Explorer specific code just to overwrite this. And so the way that you would do it is if you make an Internet Explorer specific code style sheet load uh, with um, conditionals, then change this into a color so you'll just have h1 as a specific color if it has this gradient in the module uh, custom tab right uh, advanced tab all right so that's um that's how you cover your um cover your um i don't know that's how you hack for internet explorer and um on the other webkit devices webkit browsers like chrome safari uh, firefox and all the um, mobile ones so they all work so that's cool. All right, so give that a try, and I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial. All right, have a great day.